Hello today we are dive into the future of programming for hacker. Programming languages enable people to connect with computers. They are sets of instructions that ask a computer to implement certain tasks. Ethical hackers test for vulnerabilities and weaknesses and use that information to make the system more secure. These professionals must stay up to date on the latest cyber attacks and follow hacking trends. Ethical hackers need a deep knowledge of programming languages because they must be able to analyze code and make modifications. Programming languages can also automate time-consuming tasks and identify errors in applications. Ultimately, the best programming languages for ethical hacking depend on the target computer systems and platforms. They're often platform-dependent and used specifically for Windows, Mac, or Linux operating systems. Now that you know why programming is critical, it's time to explore the best 5 programming languages used by hackers. Let's dive in. Before start please subscribe to my channel, a click is really helpful us to bring a great content for you. Number 1, Python. Python is a popular programming language in the field of cybersecurity and hacking for several reasons. Both ethical hackers and malicious actors may choose Python for different purposes due to its versatility, readability, and a vast array of libraries and frameworks. Here are some reasons why Python is commonly used in the hacking community. Python has been used by ethical hackers to generate password cracking. Hackers can write Python scripts to automate the process of trying different passwords. Brute force scripts. Brute force attacks involve systematically trying every possible combination until the correct password is found. Sniffing, Scapy, is a powerful Python library that allows hacker for the creation, manipulation, and sending of network packets. Hackers often use Scapy to craft custom packets, capture network traffic, and analyze protocols. It supports a wide range of protocols and can be used for tasks like packet sniffing, network discovery, and even building network tools and information gathering tools also. Easy to learn and readability, Python has a simple and clean syntax, making it easy for beginners to learn and for experienced programmers to read and understand code. This makes it a suitable language for hacking tasks, where quick and efficient scripting is often required. Extensive libraries and frameworks. Python has a rich set of libraries and frameworks that simplify various hacking tasks. For example, popular libraries like Requests and Beautiful Soup are useful for web scraping and manipulation, while frameworks like Scapy are employed for network analysis and manipulation. Cross platform compatibility. Python is inherently cross platform, meaning that Python scripts can run on different operating systems without modification. This is valuable for hackers who may need to work in diverse environments. Community support, Python has a large and active community of developers. This community support means that there are numerous resources, tutorials, and forums available for those learning Python for hacking purposes. This collaborative environment also leads to the development of open-source hacking tools. Scripting and automation, Python is an excellent scripting language, and its versatility allows hackers to automate a wide range of tasks. Whether it's scanning for vulnerabilities, conducting penetration tests, or automating post-exploitation activities, Python can be used effectively. Security libraries, Python has libraries specifically designed for security-related tasks. For example, the cryptography library provides tools for encryption and decryption, while the hashlib library facilitates secure hashing. Penetration testing frameworks, Python is used as the scripting language for several popular penetration testing frameworks. Notably, the Metasploit framework, a widely used penetration testing tool, allows the use of Python scripts for various tasks. Number 2, Ruby. Ruby is a versatile, object-oriented programming language that has gained popularity in various domains, including web development, automation, and scripting. While it may not be as commonly associated with hacking as languages like Python, Ruby does have its merits for certain hacking or cybersecurity-related tasks. Here are some reasons why Ruby might be used by hackers, particularly in ethical hacking. Easy to use, Ruby is known for its clean and readable syntax, making it easy for developers and hackers to quickly write and understand code. This can be useful in different conditions where rapid development and prototyping are important. Metasploit Framework Metasploit, one of the most widely used penetration testing frameworks, is written in Ruby. Security professionals and ethical hackers often use Metasploit to identify, exploit, and validate vulnerabilities in systems. Ruby inclusion in Metasploit makes it a valuable language for those working with this framework. Exploitation and payloads. Ruby can be used to craft custom exploits and payloads for specific vulnerabilities. Hackers may leverage Ruby to create scripts that interact with a target system, exploit vulnerabilities, or deliver malicious payloads. 
Web application testing, Ruby, with frameworks like Ruby on Rails, is commonly used in web development. Ethical hackers use Ruby to create custom scripts for testing the security of web applications. This can include tasks such as automated scanning for vulnerabilities, testing authentication mechanisms, or conducting penetration tests. Network programming, Ruby provides support for socket programming, which is essential for tasks related to network communication. Ethical hackers use Ruby to create scripts for tasks such as network reconnaissance, scanning, or building custom network tools. Cross-platform compatibility, Ruby is designed to be cross-platform, meaning that Ruby scripts can run on various operating systems without significant modifications. This can be useful for hackers who need to develop tools or exploits that work across different platforms. Number 3, JavaScript. JavaScript is a versatile programming language that is widely used for web development. Ethical hackers use JavaScript for several reasons. Web exploitation. JavaScript is executed on the client side, meaning it runs in the user's browser. Ethical hackers can use JavaScript to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in web applications. They may craft scripts to perform tasks like cross-site scripting XSS or cross-site request forgery CSRF to demonstrate potential security risks to the website owner. Penetration testing, ethical hackers often conduct penetration testing to assess the security of systems. JavaScript can be employed to simulate attacks and identify weaknesses in a system's defenses. It's an essential tool for evaluating the security of web applications, as it allows for dynamic interactions with the user interface. Social engineering attacks, JavaScript can be used in social engineering attacks, where hackers manipulate users into performing actions that compromise security. For example, a phishing site might use JavaScript to create realistic-looking login forms or pop-up messages to trick users into revealing sensitive information. Exploiting browser vulnerabilities, browsers are a common target for hackers due to their wide use. JavaScript can be used to exploit vulnerabilities in browsers, which might lead to unauthorized access or the installation of malware. Automation and scripting, JavaScript is not only limited to web browsers, it can also be used with server-side environments, such as Node.js. This versatility makes it useful for automating tasks in various parts of a system, making it an attractive language for ethical hackers. Number 4. SQL, Structured Query Language, is a powerful and versatile language used for managing and manipulating relational databases. While SQL itself is not a tool for hacking, it can be leveraged by hackers, both ethical and non-ethical, for various purposes. Here are some reasons why SQL might be used by ethical hackers or security professionals. SQL injection attacks. SQL injection is a common type of attack where an attacker inserts malicious SQL code into input fields or queries. This can manipulate the database and, in some cases, lead to unauthorized access or data manipulation. Ethical hackers use SQL injection tests to identify and help patch vulnerabilities in web applications. Database enumeration. Ethical hackers may use SQL queries to gather information about a target database, such as the names of tables, columns, and user accounts. This information is valuable for understanding the structure of a database and identifying potential vulnerabilities. Data extraction. In ethical hacking scenarios, security professionals use SQL to extract data from a database to demonstrate the impact of a potential breach. This is done to show how an attacker could access sensitive information. Authentication bypass. Some web applications use SQL databases to store user credentials. Ethical hackers attempt to bypass authentication mechanisms by manipulating SQL queries, aiming to gain unauthorized access to user accounts. Error-based attacks. By intentionally causing errors in SQL queries, hackers can sometimes obtain valuable information about the structure of a database or its contents. Ethical hackers may use this technique to identify and fix potential security issues. Number 5, Bash, Bash, or the Born Again Shell, is a command line interpreter that is widely used in Unix and Unix-like operating systems. It's a powerful tool for interacting with the operating system, and it's commonly used by system administrators, developers, and hacker. Here are some reasons why Bash be used in a hacking context. Scripting and automation. Bash is a scripting language, and it allows for the automation of repetitive tasks. Ethical hackers often use Bash scripts to automate various tasks in the penetration testing or vulnerability assessment process. This can include tasks such as scanning for open ports, checking for system vulnerabilities, or automating the exploitation of known weaknesses. Bash is the default shell for many Unix-based systems, and it provides a powerful command line interface. Ethical hackers can leverage bash commands and scripts to exploit vulnerabilities in systems or networks. 
For example, they use bash to execute specific commands or manipulate files on a target system. Remote execution, bash scripts can be used for remote code execution on vulnerable systems. This could be part of an ethical hacking scenario where the goal is to demonstrate the impact of a potential exploit. System interaction and information gathering, bash is excellent for interacting with the underlying system. Ethical hackers can use bash to gather information about the target system, such as system configurations, network settings, and user accounts. This information is crucial for understanding the potential attack surface and identifying vulnerabilities. Custom exploitation, bash allows hackers to create custom scripts tailored to specific vulnerabilities or target environments. This flexibility makes it a valuable tool for ethical hackers who need to adapt to different scenarios during security assessments. Post-exploitation activities, if an ethical hacker successfully exploits a vulnerability, Bash can be used for post-exploitation activities. This might include tasks like privilege escalation, lateral movement within a network, or data exfiltration. These are some of the important programming languages for hacking in 2023. However there are other languages out there for different purposes. We are consider the more language a hacker can understand the more versatile it can be. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this this video is helpful for you. Please subscribe to our channel and comment on which topic do you want a video on it. We would love to your comment and suggestion.